Hey you guys, today we will be discussing about a team composition that I made, that I rolled for, that I started with. Uh, I was gonna go with any team, but this is what I ended up with, and this is what I will be showing you as a team showcase, right? Now, uh, this is day two account, right? So, it's the second day of release. But let me show you guys my current team right now. So, we got, first, no, we got this guy, Orc Disaster, right? So what he does, uh, he does, um, whoops, yeah, so this is what he does. The first Divine Protection, right, uh, increases all allies' dark attack at the start of battle by, by 10%, increase all allies' fire attack at the start of battle by 8%. So it works well with dark and fire units, okay. Now his skill here, his protection skill, uh, is it's not bad, right? It increases uh, the cost of limit until the end of battle by 10. So you have 100, you use it, it becomes 110. You use it again, it becomes 120. So if you want to use combo uh, uh, skills, that goes for 65 plus 65, right? So you need 130 stamina, so you need to activate this three times, right? To get to 130, okay? So he's not bad, but you're mostly using him for this, right? But this problem here, that is a problem. Increase it, increase skill points by 20. It's super expensive. So to me, I'd even see the worth of using it more than once. Use it one time, I think that's it. Or don't use it at all, right? So he's, a, he's our key guy. He's going to buff our team. Why? Because here we got, we're using fire and dark. On my, on my the video that I'll be showing you guys, which is this team right here, uh, dark and dark, right? Two dark and one fire. Okay. Let me show you guys uh, this first guy right here. We got Phobio, right? Fire unit, uh, sixty already. And let me show you guys his skills. Um, his his secret skill. He does a single uh, all uh, AOE fire magic for 220 normal damage, right? Uh, but this is what I used him for, right? When I got him, uh, which was this, Thrill of the Hunt. Convert the green ones, convert green ones into orange. Orange is for skill gauge, right? There you go. And increase soul secrets. Uh, you're doing a second. Increase all soul of secrets gauges by five percent. So that's great. So you're getting to your ultimate a lot faster, right? His second skill is not bad. Decrease single target's critical resistance by 15%. So if you have a critical unit, like let's just say you have a unit that increases crit chance by 30%. Oh, what could that be? That would be a Hakuro, right? Haruko? Hakuro? Increase it by 30% crit chance for everybody. I believe so. Then... So he will be a good pair with that. So you reduce the resistance and you're increasing your chance. So your chance of you getting uh, your landing night crit is uh, about 15% higher. Because <laughs> they have 15% uh, critical resist down. So using him mostly for this, right? To get uh, skill gauge boost. Also, almost uh, using him because he's fire. And why, fi why am I using him? For Because of this guy. He gives boost to fire attack. So I have two reasons why I use him. Why he makes sense in the team. No, now this girl right here, so busted, man. She's so strong, man. Like, for me, she was one of the units I'm okay if I reroll with. So to me, it's fine. Now here's why. Um, her secret skill. Let's start with that first. Uh, AOE dark physical damage. Normal attack. 235% normal damage, right? Her battle skills is this. Cost 65. Increase all allies pierce rate by 80% for one turn. That's only for one turn, so you get to do one burst, one shot, right? One shot at like a high pierce rate. So, if I were you, to me it makes sense to use uh, Phobio because we're getting that ultimate on top of the pierce, so you do more damage, right? I'm not sure you guys have a video about it too. And then you increase all allies pierce power by 20%. So you do, you do more damage when you pierce by 20% right so let's look at enhance let's see and you click this little info button right there that you can see the potential maximum potential that you could jack this up by you can at level 10 rank 10 unique skill you can have 100% pierce 
that's the only thing that goes up right not this one and not the turns only this one right there that's the only thing that goes up so if at level 10 you get to increase all your allies pierce rate by 100 percent so which means you're guaranteed to pierce period according to what the text says right that's from my understanding now here's the second uh skill battle skill 25 cost advanced attack level one increase all allies poison evasion rate by 90 percent so that's not bad now i don't know how poison resist is important in this game we'll find out yet it's just a second day so let's see and I don't want to give us a good, wrong information too, right? So if there's something wrong, do let me know. And I'll go find out myself whether it's true or not, okay? And then no, this one. I'm this. using this Remo Tempest. Now this unit is free. You get this from the story. Chapter 3, Chapter 4, I forgot. One of those chapters, you get this guy for free, right? Free to play. And then let's get his skill. Uh, he's a dark unit. And he has a single di single target. Unleash a single target dark magic for attack for 395% normal damage. Again, magic damage. Now, uh, let's move on to... I'll talk about why magic might not be good for Pierce, but we'll get to that point, okay? Right now, let's look at the battle skills. Cost 65. Bit expensive, you ask me. It should have been at least 50 or 25, but... Well, I don't know. It should have been 50, in my opinion. 15 less. Like increases all allies attack by 20%. That's very nice. The other unit that does this, increase all allies attack by 30% at level 1, is no other than Space Rimuro. He's a 5 star unit that you need to roll for, right? He's on the tutorial reroll too. So if you get him, good for you, right? Now, the only thing I don't know is that how much this costs for him. So, anyways, we move on to the second one 25 costs. Anti-magic wave. Decrease single targets pierce resistant by 10%. This is why I used him on the team. To reduce the pierce resistance, right? So let's just say they have the pierce resistant at 100%. Then you have a pierce rate at 80%. So yeah, you'd be left with 90%. So there's like 10% chance you may or may not pierce, right? That's what I'm thinking, right? If it's based off of that, then that's, you know... To me, it makes sense to use this guy. If not, you could also use him for this, right? Just increase your party's attack, okay? So overall, very versatile free-to-play unit, in my opinion. Very nice. Now, these two units, don't focus on them right now because I don't have the proper subunits to replace them. So I'm only focusing on these four right today, okay? Now, this team is a, you know, as you can see, she gives high pierce rate. He gives attack and decreased pierce, uh, his pierce resistance, and he gives a uh, crit rate resistance, and he gives skill gauge boost for her, right? Which is going to be doing the damage for us, right? So, um, I want to show you guys uh, another video later, but let's just discuss about this team. So, how we just talked about these three units, right? How it makes sense. This second team makes so much more sense <laughs> than this team right- Oh, sorry. Than this team right here, okay? You can replace this guy, in my opinion. I think you can, alright? Because I'm not finding any usage for him. Unless of his 20, the pierce resist rate. But I think you can buy gone that pierce resist rate. Resist pierce resistance since you're using her. But I'm still not sure. I still have to do more testing. I've only done this maybe... Uh... Eight times that I have to use that combo of uh, this skill right here. I'll show you guys in a video, but I'll, it's only a few times. But it looks good. But I think it's too redundant, and you're not waste. You're not make, maxing out your damage that way. Let me show you guys why I'm using him instead, right? So this guy is also free to play. You get him a chapter five or six. Okay, it's the Light Benny Maru Four Star. Okay, let's look at his kit. Why am I going to use him? Why am I going to put him in this team? Here's why. He's light unit and he does AOE. Unleashes all target light physical attack for 220% Remember what I said earlier about the magic doing pierce? For me, what I noticed is that it's not doing as much damage as the... Um, uh, 
what do you call this? Melee, a physical attack pierce, right? Even though I had a 5 star, that's max. 80, level 88, I heard then my Shion is not doing as much damage as Shion. So what I did, I replaced, I'm going to replace uh, uh, Rimuru 4 star, dark 4 star, to Benimaru light 4 star, which does normal physical damage, a light physical attack. Right, so it has to be physical, right? Then his skills, battle skill, is great, right? Only cost 25, very cheap. You can combine this with Shion's Pierce Gauge and his first skill, which is increased critical rate by 80%. That is insane. You're gonna create, you're gonna do a Pierce damage, ignoring defense, right? And you're gonna do crit. So good chance of creating and you're gonna Pierce. So you got two things in one. And it's physical too, so on top of that, bam bam. You got two things that's gonna increase it right away. Sorry for the bam bam. <laughs> so pumped for this, man. Let's see. Uh, you look, he can go up to a 100% crit rate. So if you max this out, you can get up to 100% crit rate. <clears throat> then moving on to the second one. Also cost 25. It says fair and square, level 1. Increase all allies' critical resistance by 40%. To me, this is very nice why it's cheap <laughs> and number two 40 percent that's already a lot let's just say your crit rate is like 50 percent well there you go they only have 10 percent chance to crit rate to crit on you if they don't have anything else right now this can go up to 50 percent uh, as i said see look if they have 50 percent crit rate or 70 percent crit rate they only have 20 percent chance to crit on you <coughs> i feel they only they're, if they're attacking five times Maybe one out of five they're gonna crit, right? But you don't know that, so it's all in RNG, right? So let's see. This is that unit I wanted to try out because we're gonna get the <clears throat> skill gauge boost from this for these two units, right? Then you can have the pierce from her that's gonna boost his damage and her damage and all physical damage actually. And he has a crit rate buff on him so he's gonna do more bonkers damage everything is just focused on him well even though this guy is helping only him and her right so when they wield on the boss or the enemy down to that percentage he's gonna do the killing blow this guy right here our big our light boy Benny Maru he's gonna do the finishing kill right so that's what I'm hoping for and with this team that I, I'm gonna show you the video it's something similar that's why it did so let's just have a look and see how it plays out so hey guys, here is the clip of me doing the story. This is only wave 2 out of 2. I already beat the mob phase, so wave 1 out of 2. So now I'm here in the boss fight. This, I got this skill gauge ult on the wave 1. So on wave 2, I managed to get uh, their ultimates ready to do that big burst, okay? Let's have a look. Okay, um, let's see. Here. We're gonna go activate. We're gonna activate. I, I don't remember you guys. Let's see. Okay, there you go. We're gonna increase the pierce rate, you guys. And we're gonna decrease the pierce resistance. But since this is a two turn move, this can last for one more turn and I can build up a stamina to, to do the to do the skill, right? So I could hit harder with the ultimate. I'm gonna do that. So his pierce resistance, see, look at that. His pierce hits so hard, I guess. I mean, her pierce hits so hard. Just three attack and he's almost gone. And I'm under 20k EP rating. Look at this. Now, he still has that pierce resist rate down. And now I'm gonna buff myself up, right? With that. So buff pierce rate increase, pierce power increase. Then we're just gonna... Did I use this one? Oh, yeah, I, I don't think I did. And I can't use any more, so here we go. Let's see if we can one-shot this boss at this point. I think he's, he's like at 50 plus percent, 50 to 60 percent of range. Look at that one hit. Did you guys see that? Let's go back. Did 634. That's a lot. 634 pierce rate. <laughs> oh, pierce rate, so pierce damage. Sorry. And look at this. 
And maybe it's, he's just four storm, but look, 490. The difference is a lot. That's his ultimate. And yeah, look at her ultimate. His ultimate did 490. Here's. Look at his ultimate. It's, it's bonkers. And this is AoE, so imagine a single target. Pierce of 1291. That's a lot. I've seen this pierce go all the way up to 1600 something, man. And this is not a maxed out unit, and I haven't worked on her ability yet, so. Pierce can be really, really stupidly strong if done right, okay? This is what I truly believe in, right? Uh, let's see. Is, is that it? I think that's it, okay. So, oh, this is chapter 6. Okay. Alright, so here is the second clip of me trying to beat the second part of the story. Is that it? Oh, no, no. Oh, here's the second clip, alright. As you can see, the rating here is 54,076. I'm under by 20, 20k plus. <clears throat> alright. And this this one took me, uh, I think, two tries because the first try I got wiped, I got destroyed by the boss, and the second try I think I managed to do to do all the combo correctly, and it the boss just got hit, got knocked out. Man. Let's see. All right, here we go. Oh, this is another pre-recorded clip. I don't remember what I did here, but we'll see. <clears throat> I think at this point I just try to get all the, all the orange right now. Yeah. I'm just trying to get all the uh, orange attack. Because remember, Bobio, you can convert greens to orange. So here. We'll see here right now. Go up the hunt. Get into orange, there you go. This is a 200% combo, so we do more damage, right? There you go. And they should do a triple combo. There you go, monstrous combo. 200%. Damn, 1128. Quick damage increase. And we've got, uh, I think, magic resist down. As you can see, we have the ultimate ready for her. Now we just need a little bit more to activate the skill. <clears throat> right. Let's see. There you go. We're gonna wait this out. I I don't think I was gonna skill skill yet. I use this skill for a minute. There, see? We bring him down to about 50% HP or under. 50% it looks like. So now we could use the skill gauge. Oh, let's go gauge the ability, right? Alright, oh, we're not gonna use it yet. What am I trying to do? Like, I'm trying to see the skills, I guess. Oh, I'm trying to get the resist down, that's right. Oh, but then he died, so resist was kind of useless. So now I have... There you go. All blue. All rainbow, I guess. And then I go use that. Alright, yeah. There you go. Power... Pierce power increase, pierce rate increase. And honestly, I made a mistake here. I shouldn't have done him. But I think I did him because I wanted to see her last. Just in case I fail the combo. You know? If this fails, they go 1480 pierce, man. Look at that again. Oh. Go. 1480 man. That's a lot. Right, and then we got. I think he's gonna do the final blow here. 504. See? The reason why I put her last because I'm not sure if it's gonna kill him or not. So I put her last just to make sure he she gets the final killing blow if, if he doesn't die. <clears throat> so yeah, I think that is all for now, you guys. Uh, I should guess the Pierce team. An example of a Pierce team. It's not the best team because I don't have all the units. Myself. So it's just an example of what you can make in the game. So I hope uh, that helps out and I shall see you guys on the next video.
Peace. Like and subscribe and share the love, you guys.